It is he who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. All the celestial bodies swim along, each in its own rounded course. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now, this is the first challenge. Now, specifically, I want to go through the last section, or the last part of the verse, which says, Kulun fi all celestial bodies swim along each in its own rounded course. Now, initially, what I want to do was go through a detailed grammatical and linguistic analysis of this particular section, which is composed of four words. You have two nouns or isms, one verb, and one preposition. But I realized it was going to take too long. And the words used are very precise. Inshallah, um, in future videos, I'll be explaining uh, the precision of the language that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used in this particular uh, verse. I really honestly believe that this challenge is impossible. The challenge is open to everybody to produce something better than the Quran. And people might think this is uh, subjective, but... Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In here, we are going to expose the deception of Muslims and the joke of Islam. You know, first of all, when a Muslim, he says that uh, nobody can produce the same as the Quran, that simply is a joke. And we made many videos before showing you that many people produce Quran and even it is exists in the Quran. And as an example, we, we see that uh, Umar al-Khattab, he said the following. As we see in here, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is Omar al-Khattab saying, My Lord agreed with me in three things. Now, if we look at this agree with me, who is he speaking about who? His Lord is Allah, not Muhammad. And this is Omar al-Khattab. He isn't a prophet. You know, he is just uh, supposedly a friend of Muhammad. So who is he? And look what happened. Allah agreed with me in three uh, things. And those three things became three verses in the Quran. And actually, they became chapters, or let us say, uh, big topics in the Quran. Like uh, the hijab today, Muslim they are wearing because Umar bin Khattab he saw the ass of uh, Sauda bin Tudama, the wife of Muhammad. So Muhammad, uh, so Umar, Umar Khattab he told Muhammad, why you don't do this and this and this? And Allah took it as it is and put it in the Quran. And I'm not the one saying that. Look, he's saying he agree with me in this verse, he agree with me in this verse, and he agree with me in this verse. And look, and so this verse came the same as I had said. Do you see it? The same as I had said. So how the Muslims they say to us, who can provide Quran like this? If your God Allah himself is copying from a man, his name is Umar al-Khattab. Because the one who said that verse first is Umar. And as you see, I'm not the one. This is the Muslim translation. The same as I had said. Exactly. Word by word, letter by letter. And then they say to you, provide Quran like this Quran. <laughs> Umar, Umar make Quran. And who's Umar? No, no one. The second issue is, what about the satanic verses? Muhammad, everybody knows the book of Salman Rushdie, right? Very famous. But actually, this, this story is from Quran, the Quran. Chapter 22 in the Quran, where the shaitan, he throw words in the mouth of Muhammad. And those words were Quran. And look what the Quran says. Uh, by the way, before I move to the what uh, the satanic verses, uh, I know that Muslim, they will say, this is a weak hadith. Brother, this is a weak hadith. You know, the game of weak and strong, fat and uh, skinny. It's in the front of you. It says, Sahih. Sahih. Different source. Sahih. You see it, Abdul? See it? Sahih. So don't play the game of uh, weak, skinny, uh, because we know you. You know, we know Muslims. You put them in the corner, everything is weak. Including the Quran became weak these days. So it is Sahih. Very strong hadith. Sahih in Arabic means strong. Now let's go and see what this challenge about the Quran, how stupid it is. And by the way, we will go back to the challenge because in there there's a huge mistake showing that the one who made the Quran is an idiot, professional idiot. Let us see. Look at this. This is chapter 22, verse number 52. 
When Muhammad he was reciting the Quran and specifically the chapter of An-Najm, the Shaitan he put verses in his mouth, which is not from Allah. But look what Muhammad did. Muhammad he did not notice. Muhammad he continued speaking and Muhammad he continued reciting. And later Allah he sent Jibreel after like a week or two to tell him Muhammad what you did. Muhammad Abdul, come on. This is from Shaitan, brother. Muhammad said, Really? I didn't know that. So let us ask ourselves a question. If nobody can provide same as the Quran, as Muslims they claim, we showed you that Umar al-Khattab, Allah himself is copying from him, which means Muhammad is a thief. He just he liked what Umar he said, and he made it a chapter in the Quran uh, and verses. Now, look in here in this story. Shaitan is throwing Quran in the mouth of Muhammad, his own Quran, not the Quran of his God, supposedly. Muhammad, who can be the best judge of this is a Quran from God or not? This Abdul who's making the video or me? No. You have to be honest. The best one who can be a judge? Muhammad. If we ask Muslims, who is the best judge to judge of those words is coming from God or not? They will say, oh, for sure, the Prophet. So the Prophet himself, he swallowed it, he took it, and he said it without even noticing that this is not from God, which means it was a perfect Quran for him. Otherwise, he would never say it. So the Prophet, he took from Shaitan, the Quran of Shaitan, and he recited, and he believed in it as if it is from Allah. Then the angel Jibreel came to Muhammad and told him, do you know what? The one, the verses which Shaitan he gave you, Allah will delete it. But the fact is what happened. If you read the story, especially in Arabic, not in English, in English, you know, the Muslim, they cut like 90% of the story. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic, uh, in English. Uh, if we read Ibn Kathir in Arabic, you will see the huge difference between them. Like almost 90% of the text is gone. You will see in here that many of people, they thought that Muhammad, he became the same as the idolaters. And this is what Islam is about. Because when he recited those, he said that the three daughters of Allah must be worshipped. Manatu wa latu wal uzza. Those are three daughters of Allah. They must be worshipped and praised. So he, he bowed down to the idols and they bowed down with him. And this is why many of those who they thought Muhammad is against them, but after that they believe that uh, 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 Islam is to be worshipping the, the same religion of all religion, the idolaters. This is why people, they thought idolaters became Muslims, which means they became uh, uh, following Muhammad because Muhammad believed in their God. Because he worshipped their gods. He worshipped the three daughters of Allah, which is the three daughters of the moon god, which is Allah, which means the la, not Allah. Allah is, to, uh, 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 is, is contained the word, the, uh, the letters A-L, which means the, and la, the, la. This is the moon god. You can search for the Egyptian moon god. And he said that the three daughters of the moon god must be worshipped. And just to show you the hypocrisy, of Muslims when they translate. This is why I say don't ever accept Muslim translation. It's a, it's a, it's nothing but a lie. Look, this is Ibn Kathir in Arabic, and this is Ibn Kathir in English. We cannot find in Ibn Kathir in English where Muhammad he did bow down, how Shaitan he, you know, we don't find a story. We go to the Arabic section. This is, this is the official government website of of Saudi Arabia, as you see, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and here we see that Muhammad is simply bowing down. And not only that, that, that born down to the to the goddess, the goddess of the uh, pagans. And look what the uh, the pagans, they said, oh, we never saw Muhammad praising our gods as today. So he bowed down, read with me, we, he bowed down to their gods, and he bowed down to, فَسَجَدَ وَسَجَدُ So he did first bow down to who? To the three daughters of Allah. And they bowed down with him. You see it? So what is the story in the English translation? Nothing. This is why we say Muslims, you want to learn about Quran, Christians, atheists, you want to learn about Quran, read books made by us. Go and get my book, The Deception of Allah, and see how we expose the lies of those people. Actually, my coming book, which is devoted just to expose the miracles of the Quran, I hope is going to be printed in less than two months from now. It's The Deception of Allah, variant number two. Just to, to, not only to refute, to destroy the miracles of the Quran and to show that those miracles actually nothing but a lie and a mistake and actually this is what i'm going to do i'm going to go back now to the to the quran now because our time you know we don't have much time to to go forever we have only 15 minutes let us uh, focus in this verse which he chose that this is a miracle of allah 
and, and here guys you will see uh, uh, that the verse is stating clearly that Allah speaking about supposedly if the one is speaking Allah not Muhammad supposedly uh, the one uh, the, uh, there's a four object they are swimming the night and by the way as I said there's nothing in the, in the Quran is called round courses it's a big fat lie and a fast translation the night and the day the Sun and the moon and please notice with me the, the word all 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 the Muslims all because they are deaf they don't hear you see all so what the Quran is saying that all they swim in round courses <laughs> So Allah simply considering that the night and the day they are physical object the same as the sun and the moon. Allah is not enough in here. Now just wait. Allah continue and says each. So all and each, all and each do what? Swim. Thank you very much. This is a very huge mistake. Explain to us that Muhammad and his God is nothing but a joke. Now just to show you, I'm not the one is saying that the sun move and that will make the day and the night happen. Which means the sun goes, the night come. The sun goes, the moon come. Let us go and see Muhammad. Because if we ask Muslims, who is the best one who can understand Quran and explain, explain what the Quran says, they will say the Prophet. Let us see what the Prophet said about this verse. Read with me. Muhammad in here is being a volunteer as a scientist. You know, you can ask him, by the way, to teach in your school or university. He is the best. Look, Abu, uh, Muhammad, he asked a guy, his name is Abu Dhar. He said to him, do you know where the sun goes? So, so what the question, guys? Listen carefully. Do you know where the sun goes? So he's talking about what the sun is going. And I'm so thankful for Muhammad for exposing himself as a liar. I said, which means Abu Dhar, he said, Allah and her apostle know better. Who dare to say to Muhammad, I know more than you? He said, it goes and ask permission to prostrate, and it's allowed. And one day, so. Allah, uh, the, 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 the sun goes every day and prostrate, prostrate by the way, do you know where? Uh, they prostrate under the throne, the throne of Allah. Now just to show you more, because more stories, Muhammad, he said many things, they are wonderful, amazing, priceless. Look what Muhammad said. He asked the guy, this is a different hadith from Sahih Muslim, book number one, hadith number uh, 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 0297. Now, and here we see he's asking the man where the sun goes. Look what Muhammad continues saying. Where the sun goes, read with me. It goes, the sun goes, till it reaches its resting place. You see, it's a resting place. It's a place where it's the sun stop. When we say resting place, it's a place you don't move no more. The Muslims, they were saying to us around uh, curses and they keep going. And, you know, it's a resting place. The sun goes to sleep. To sleep where? Under the throne of Allah. You see it? And then, after that, is going to ask Allah permission to go and rise up again. Go to the place where you came. Allah, he would say to the sun, like, and enter one day. This is every day. The sun goes and sleep under the throne of Allah. And then it's going to be given, given permission uh, to go in, in, in the normal uh, uh, act in the sun do. Enter one day, Allah will not give it permission. And he will tell the sun to go and raise it from the place where it came from. And that place where it's coming from, guess what? It's going to appear from the west. As you see. If you read with me in here, read the whole story. We don't have much time, too bad, you know. But I, I will leave the, the hadith underneath so you can read it. You will see the sun every day go sleep there and wake up in the morning and ask Allah permission. And this is will do forever. Enter one day, the sun will ask Allah to go. This Allah will say to the sun, no, go from where you came, which means it's going to appear from the west to the to the to the human being, which means the sun will appear to us from the west, not from the east. So the sun every day is moving, and the Muslim they are making that this is a miracle. It's a joke. It's a mistake. It's actually this verse alone is enough to prove that Allah is a false god. And thank you for Muslims for pointing your hands at the wounds of your prophet, which expose his real blood, which is the blood of Satan. Read my book. The deception of Allah and learn more about Islam. Christ is Lord and Muhammad is nothing but a false man. See you soon.